So here's the box that I got them out of. Okay. As armor, Hannah Gutierrez Reed showed investigators around the scent in the hours after the deadly shooting. I just need you to relax. Just relax, okay? Prosecutors now charge that sometime the same day, Gutierrez Reed tampered with evidence, saying she transferred narcotics to another person with the intent to prevent the apprehension, prosecution, or conviction of herself. This is in addition to the charge of involuntary manslaughter Gutierrez Reed already faces and comes on the heels of a court filing two weeks ago, in which prosecutors say witnesses will testify Gutierrez Reed was drinking heavily and smoking marijuana in the evenings during filming adding it is likely she was hung over when she inserted a live bullet into a gun that she knew an actor would later use Gutierrez Reed's attorneys responded saying the accusation she was likely hung over is recklessly false and is not supported by admissible evidence now hitting back with a new statement invoking Shakespeare's Hamlet saying something is rotten in Denmark it is shocking that after 20 months of investigation the prosecution now throws in a completely new charge with no prior notice or any witness statements lab reports or evidence to support it in April prosecutors dropped involved Voluntary manslaughter charges against actor Alec Baldwin, saying at the time new facts had come to light. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. But the gun went off, killing cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Her husband, Matt Hutchins, telling Hoda there were numerous safety issues on the set. Her death was preventable and she deserved to live. I think we have to get to the ultimate responsibility of those parties who caused her death. In a separate court filing, Hannah Gutierrez Reed's attorney said he was mistakenly copied on an email from Robert Schilling, the lead investigator in the district attorney's case, where Schilling called the conduct of the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office during and after their initial investigation reprehensible and unprofessional. The armor's attorney called the exchange beyond troubling and said it was highly exculpatory for Gutierrez Reed. NBC News has reached out to both the sheriff's office and Schilling but have not heard back. Hoda. All right, Aaron McLaughlin. Aaron, thank you. Let's bring in NBC senior legal correspondent Laura Jarrett. Wow, there's a lot to unpack in yes. this whole thing, a lot of confusing elements, but let's just start with the additional charges. So Hannah Gutierrez is now charged with tampering with evidence when it came to narcotics. What does that actually mean? The idea, it seems, and the prosecutors don't say much in these new papers, but the idea seems to be that they believe that she handed off drugs to someone else on set, worried that she was going to get caught with them, maybe right before the police came, again, it's not very clear. Now, you might say to yourself, okay, this has gone on for almost two right. years. Why yeah. are we just now hearing about yeah. it? I think they might be adding this in sort of to explain the atmospherics on the set. Oh. Prosecutors all along have sort of depicted them as running fast and loose mm -hmm. and sort of not being very tight with safety procedures. And so I think they're using this to just try to show how really reckless the entire thing was being run. Doesn't mean, though, that this evidence will stay in. Mm -hmm. The defense oh. has already said they're blindsided by yeah. this, this new charge. What's going to be their argument against it? Well, they have now unearthed uh, this email that was inadvertently sent to them but yeah. the defense attorney, by accident, apparently he had the same name as somebody else. And the lead investigator is saying, I think there are serious problems wow. here. So if I'm the defense attorney, I'm going to say, well, wait a minute. What were the problems? What, please tell me everything about that. Uh, well, again, we'll see where this goes. But it just feels like both the prosecutors have a lot of problems and the set itself had a lot of issues. Well, the, and I think what's interesting was we did a whole headline on how Alec Baldwin is now not going to be charged. That's what everyone was saying. And now there are whispers that, wait, it's it's not all the way over yet? Well, the prosecutors are sort of dangling it out there as sort of a maybe, but not explaining what he would be charged with. Remember, the reason they dropped the case against him in the first place is because the gun had been tampered with in right. some way, and so they weren't going to be able to prove that he had actually pulled the trigger. But they said they're going to decide in 60 days. And to be clear, we've got a new team of prosecutors yeah. here, right? Yes, and that's part of the issue, yeah. is that the first team of prosecutors had to step aside, so it's a new team. All right, Laura, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.